latency in communication has been a problem for a very long time. Much of human history and literature hinges on latency. Imagine if Shakespeare's Friar Lawrence had a cell phone. Romeo would have known that Juliet faked her death and they might have lived happily ever after. Or just lived, uh, after. Consider the Battle of New Orleans in 1815. A battle fought 15 days after a peace treaty was signed that formally ended the war. Even modern achievements like the moon landing face latency. Mission Control waited anxiously for Neil Armstrong's delayed transmissions from space. And if we reach out to our nearest habitable exoplanet, messages would take over four years each way. Talk about a time delay. So when we're talking about engineered systems and we're talking about speed, we're talking about one of two things, either throughput or latency. Throughput is how fast it goes. Latency is how long it takes to get started. So if you're driving down the freeway and you're going 60 miles an hour, that's throughput. If you're at a stoplight and you put your foot down on the gas, that's latency. Humans are very sensitive to how long other people take to respond to them in conversation. And when humans talk to AI, they have those same expectations. So typically, if you and I are just talking, I get a little weirded out if you take much more than 500 milliseconds to respond to me. 500 milliseconds is half a second. For many years, I thought voice was just in the realm of pure research. And when people came to me and said, we want to build an application and we want to be able to talk to it, I said, don't do that. We're not ready. The hardest thing is getting these new tools to respond at very fast latency. And then a, about a year and a half ago, that changed overnight. And I completely flipped and think that voice is like the biggest possible UI step forward that we're all making over the next couple of years.